This tutorial by NeederPointers.com will show you how to sew an easy contoured burp cloth. What you're going to need is some soft flannel fabric, some low loft cotton batting that's optional, a paper ruler, pencil or pen, and basic sewing supplies. I recommend that you wash the flannel fabric. Uh, this will prevent it from shrinking and curling later when they do the washing of the, the uh, burp cloth. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to create the pattern. What you need is a piece of paper and you should have the paper should be eight and a half by ten inches. You're going to Oh, I'll show you this one. Eight and a half by ten inches, not eight and a half by eleven, eight and a half by ten. You're going to measure down from the top corner to here five inches, and then from the bottom across seven inches, and then just draw a nice con curved line from the five to the seven and then you want to round the top corners and I use a disc and just round the top corners and then cut out your pattern and it would look something like this for your burp cloth. Down here at this end you're going to place this on the fold when you cut your fabric. You're going to cut two pieces of flannel, they can be the same color or a different color. I've already done it as you can see. It's this way because this is a straight edge. Okay. And if you want it, your burp cloth to be a little more absorbent, you can use the cotton batting. The first thing you're going to do then to construct it is to place the two flannel fabrics right sides together and if you're using then the batting place the batting on the flat surface and then put your two flannel pieces on top and pin it all the way around and I'm going to pin it and then I'll be back as you can see, I have all the layers pinned together. And now we're going to start sewing using a half inch seam allowance. But on the straight edge, we're going to start uh, and leave an opening of about four inches for turning it. So I'm going to start a little bit down on the one side. And I'm going to begin to sew. When you get to the around to do the corners, you can always put your needle down and pivot it a little bit if you have to. The next thing you need to do is clip the curves. And all you have to do is clip it every so often. Do not clip through your stitching. Okay, I clip the curve. Now, insert your hand inside and turn it right side out through the opening. Push it all out so it's nice and even. You can put your hand in to so just push along the curves. And the next thing we're going to do is you're going to press the burp cloth flat and as you do it you're going to put these roll edges where the opening is inside and pin those in place. And the next thing you want to do is to top stitch all the way around the burp cloth using about a quarter of an inch from the edge. And 
And as you're doing this, this is where the opening was, um, you'll be closing up the opening as you go. You could hand stitch it if you wanted, but I find that this is um, just fine. I've stitched all the way around. The birth cloth is finished. These birth cloths are soft and absorbent. Make for yourself or give away as a baby gift. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and comment. Subscribe to our channel because we publish videos on Monday, Thursday, and Saturday. Follow us on Facebook. Our Facebook page is a great source for craft and hobby information. And don't forget to visit our website, needlepointers.com, for free sewing projects and tutorials.